Hi, my name is Steven. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a sticky table of content for your blog post using the DV theme. You can see right here that this column right here is sticky and you can see the table of content over here. So when you click on any of this link here, it will take you to a specific section of the post. So let's click on this Supreme modules. See, that will scroll us down to this section of the page. And then let's click on this Supreme extensions and you can see so this is exactly what I'm going to show you how to do. You don't need any plugin. You can do this using your DV theme. If you already have the theme, you can do this inside the DV theme for free. So let's log into WordPress and I will show you how this works. So as you can see that I'm logged into WordPress dashboard right here. So if I go to this website and click on blog, and you can see that I have a sample post here. And then if I open this post and you can see what we have over here, and we have a table of content here but it's not a link it doesn't work okay so i'm going to show you guys how you can make this a link to a specific section on the page okay so let's go back to post let's edit the post so i'm going to click on all post and then here we have the sample post i'm going to click on edit with the dv theme so if you click on edit like this with the default wordpress editor it's going to bring us to this page right here and then you can also click edit with div theme from here okay so you can see that we are inside the blog post right here and you can see that this this right here is a section with a two column row so you can see that we have a two column row here so if i click we have these two column rows so i have uh this one here for the blog post and this small one here for the table of content so you can choose if you choose this one is going to be like this so you want to choose this one because we need the table of content to be small and then the post will be a lot bigger so we're going to click this one right here okay so once we have this the next thing you need to do is to go ahead and start writing your post so for this post right here you can see that i have image module here so if i click on that you can see here that i don't have any image i'm just using the dynamic content to pull the featured image so if i delete this you can see there's no image here so if you click on this plus icon here you can see featured image so if i click on that that will pull the featured image for this post right here okay that's what i'm using here and then this next one here is just a text module okay so you can see here that i have a text module and i have some text inside and then obviously inside the text module you can put as many content as you want for example if i copy all this in here I can actually copy this and then I can post it again. Okay, I can see that we have this merge inside that test module. But if you want to link a specific section of the post to the table of content, you have to make sure that that specific section of post is a separate module. So you don't want it to be, you don't want the section two, for example, to be inside this same text module. So what you can do is to duplicate this module. And then you can use this as the section two. So if I click on this, I can easily change this to section two. So the next thing you can do is to, instead of duplicating the text module, maybe you want to add something else. Maybe you want to add an image. You can go ahead and click on the plus icon here and add an image. So you can add an image module here. And here we have the image module. You can go ahead and select the image. I'm going to select this image over here. Now we have this image. Because it's a separate module, you can actually add this to your table of content so that someone can just scroll directly to this image. And then we can go ahead and duplicate this text module again. And then I'm going to drag it uh, under the image here. Okay, so now we have it. So I'm going to section three here. So now that we have all the content ready to go, we can go back to this column here the small column that we have on the side here and then if we go inside here you can see that i have text module in there which is the table of content and then i have another text module which is the section one and then i can go ahead and duplicate these sections and then i'm going to change this one to section two section three we have an image maybe we want to add that as well Okay, so I'm going to change this one to image. So we have the image here. 
Okay, so here you go. So we have section one, we have section two, and we have the image. And then I'm going to duplicate another section and I will drag that under here, just under the image. And then we're going to change this one to section three. So now we have all the sections. You can see that we have all the sections ready to go. So what we need to do now is under the section one here. So we're going to click on the effects module here, which is the section one. Okay, so we're going to open the section one text module. And then we're going to go to advanced. Under the CSS ID and classes, we're going to give this section a CSS ID. So I'm going to copy this section one that we have here. And then I'm going to use it as the CSS ID. And then I'm going to remove this space in between the section and the one. So make sure you remove that space. And make sure everything is together like this. And then I'm going to copy this together again like this. And I'm going to copy that. Click OK. And now I'm going to go back to the table of content here. And then under the section one, I'm going to click on the setting icon to open the text module. And then under the section one, instead of going to the advanced tab, we can just go to the link because we want to link this section to uh, this section one. So we go to link here. And then the module link here, we're going to add that section one here. So I'm going to paste the section one. And then in front of this section one, we want to add a hashtag. So make sure you add a hashtag here. If not, the link won't work. So add the hashtag here and click OK. So we're going to repeat the same process. We're going to go to section two and then we're going to go to advanced CSS class ID and then we put section two here. Now we copy that section two. So it's just, I just have to copy it just to make sure it's exact the same thing because if it's not the same, it's not going to work. And then we go back to table of content. We go to section two and then we do the same thing. We go to link and then under module link and then we're going to paste that here and then make sure you put hashtag at the front so we're going to put hashtag here just like before and then we're going to repeat the same thing with the image so now with the image we go here and we select the image we go to advanced tab and css id and then we're just going to call this one image like this and then i'm going to copy this and then i'm going to go back to the table of content under the image, I'm going to open that and go to links. Then I'm going to paste that here. Then I'm going to put a hashtag at the front. So I'm going to repeat the same process for section three. I'm going to go down to section three over here. I'm going to open this and give this CSS ID section three. Okay, we're going to copy this section three here. Then we're going to paste it here. And remember to remove the space in between the three and section. And then we're going to copy that again and close this. We'll go back here and put that in section three here. Go to link. And then we paste it here. And then we put a hashtag at the front. Just like that. Now, so if we save this and go back to view the page. Okay, so let's see. Now we have this, you can see if we click on section one, that will scroll you down to section one. If we click on section two, that will scroll you down to section two. But the problem is this table of content is not sticky. You have to go up to look for the table of content, which is not very good. You can see if you scroll you down here, you have to scroll up to find the table of content. But this one right here, when you click on it, the table of content remains there. You can always click on it at any time and then you continue to uh, read the article. So let's go back and edit this page again. So I can show you how you can make this table of content sticky. So I'm going to enable the visual builder again. So now that we're here, all you need to do is to go to the green section, which is the column section. Click on the setting icon. And here you can see that we have two columns. And the second one is the table of content here. You want to click on the gear icon, the setting icon for the second column. And then now go to advanced and then scroll down to position and then scroll down to scroll effects. And here you want to select sticky position. Now you can see that it says do not stick. So we want to change that to 
stick to the top okay so now if we scroll this you can see that that is sticking to the top but it's going under the menu here so we want to add some padding to the top so you're going to drag this stick to the top offset like this so now you can see maybe i'll just put it to 100 like that so now when we scroll you can see it's sticking to the top but another problem is let's assume that you have a lot of content you have like a really long content and this table of content is really long so let me, let me give you an example let me just duplicate a bunch of this like this for example so let's say you have your table of content this long now when you scroll down to the bottom of the page you can see that your table of content is overlapping with your folder over here and you don't want that right so you want your table of content to stop exactly where your article stops like right here for example you don't want it to overlap like this all you need to do is go back to the column setting here and then select this column again which is the second one and then go back to advanced and go to position and scroll down to scroll effects and here you can see that we have stick to the top and then if you scroll down you can see sticky limit so we want to change that to body area so when you change it to body area it will stop exactly where your post or your article stops so let's change that to body area like this now if we scroll down like this you can see that it will stop exactly where your article stops that way it's not overlapping your footer so let's go and see the page and see what it looks like okay so let me exit the visual builder now you can see that we're on the blog post and if we select the section one if you click section two image and see section three and this ones are not linked we just use those as an example so this is exactly how you can create a sticky table of content for your blog post using the DV theme without using any additional plugin or CSS. This is really, really awesome. So if you like this video, let me know in the comment section below. Smash that subscription button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload a video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.